Today, I actually have a $250 That Spider-Man Booth comic book mystery box. So this is the, what they call the superior box. The normal monthly, not monthly, weekly boxes are 30 bucks a piece, but their superior boxes, which is usually like once every two or three months, is $250. And there are some massive possible hits in these boxes. So I'm pretty sure this is the superior V10. If I remember correctly, this is the last spear boxes, the V9s, they were fantastic. I only bought one because the previous ones, two spear boxes ago, wasn't impressed with them. But last, the last ones, they redeemed themselves. A lot of people got some fantastic hits out. My one box I got was pretty freaking good, I thought. So this time, I got a few more. So we're going to do one in this video, and hopefully, I get something epic out of these new superior boxes. So I think right now, the pre-orders are up for the next superior boxes, the V11 boxes. Um, if you've ordered in the past, you can pre-order them early, but I think they go on sale to the general public sometime in mid-May, I think it is. I think, I could be totally off on that. Could have just made it up completely. But, uh, oops, still taped. But these do sell pretty quickly. These only do a few hundred boxes, so they don't last long. So if you want one, you better jump on it now. So here we go. Oh, those are here. Now, the V10 available now. The V11, May 15th. So I kind of nailed that, didn't I? So let's see what we have in here. There's going to be a comic books. You can get some graded books out, posters, art prints, all kinds of goodies. The possibilities, kind of endless. So this box is not an oversized box, so I do not have a graded comic in this box, but that is okay. Just because you don't have a graded comic doesn't mean though that this is not a bad box. And we have two prints in here, it looks like. We have the first one that says the tin. Let's see what this one is of. Some of these art prints can be actually really freaking cool. Oh, come on. These always, these always fit tight. The first time you get them open can be a real doozy. There we go. Come on. There we go. First art print. Show you first. Hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully it's focusing. And we have... Okay, we got X-Men. And it's signed by the artist... Um, I've actually got a few of his autographs in the past on comic books. Um, it was like Nunez or something like that. Okay, art print right there. Uh, a lot of this stuff you see on this YouTube channel, even like the mystery boxes like this, a lot of this stuff I will sell on my eBay store. Um, so if anything from this video, I guess you would like to purchase. Um, if, if I do decide to sell it, it'll be in my eBay store. There's always a direct link down below to my eBay store and my videos. So if it's available, if it hasn't sold yet, or if I plan, yeah, yeah, just check it. So yeah, I'm trying to say, if it is not there, it's possibly it's already sold yet, or I'm not going to sell it, or it's going to be sold eventually. We actually have two more art prints in here. First one on top. Oh, I'm keeping this one. This is a double sign right here. Now that is a cool freaking art print right there. Captain America annual number eight oversize signed by what was it Michael Speck and John Beatty. Okay, that's like this. I will probably hang on to it. Not 100% guarantee, but good chance this one I actually might keep because that's really cool. I can't keep all my art prints because I only have so much room to store all these large prints. So some of these you kind of have to give up. And next one, I think this is Jim Jim Lee. Art print, we got Batman. And by the signature down there, that looks like a Jim Lee autograph. So that's actually a decent art print. Not, not the best, but it's decent. But yeah, pretty sure it's Jim Lee. It's okay, so this box right here, the first three items, I got the art print in here. Oh, it was uh, X-Men. And then we got Batman art print. And this Captain America, a really cool one, double sign. So I, 
yeah, the Captain America, I'll probably keep it, but no, but not a guarantee though. We still have an entire box though of comics here. I think there's gonna be, like each one has like 10 comics in it. And uh, hopefully we get something good out of this. Something just fell. Okay, I don't wanna look around too much. I don't wanna see any spoilers. Oh yeah, and if you buy a superior box, uh, you can actually win more free comics. I haven't won any yet, but you know I know some people who have. Uh, looks like on May the 11th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 Central, 5 Mountain, whatever. Instagram Live and YouTube Live. Each superior box is an additional chance to win more comics. So you have to do a few things. You have to like post your box on either YouTube and Instagram and hashtag and all that stuff. And uh, you can actually win more comics. But yeah, I never have, but people do every single time. So, let's see. Try not to peek too much. Not sure which way to go in on this. Okay, so these are upside down. Turn these things over. Let's see what I got. So, and um, then I gotta try to hide it a little bit so I can't see them. So, first one, I'll show you first. So, these are gonna have a lot of variant covers in these boxes. So, if you do not like variant covers, don't buy their boxes because you've gotta like variant covers. So, the first one we have a Gwen Stacy. It says worth about 20 bucks. And their prices are usually close. So, it's probably worth between $10, $15 for this Gwen Stacy. Decent cover on it. Next, show you first. I think I saw this Captain uh, Captain Marvel, I think. Yes, we do have a Captain Marvel, a Virgin variant cover. Say it's worth about 20 bucks. Okay, decent. Like I said, once again, it's probably worth like $10, $15, I bet, in that range. Next, we have Oh, we have an X-Men cover. Um, very, the cover's very busy. A lot going on in that cover. It's saying it's worth about like 40 bucks. Wow, that's kind of an expensive comic right there. So it's probably worth, you know, 20, 30, maybe 35 dollars. Maybe as high as 40, you just don't know. But yeah, that's that's a very busy cover. Um, trying to think, what's, what's her name? Um, I'm drawing a total blank, but anyway, doesn't matter. Next, we have, oh, that's a cool one. We got Spider-Man and Venom. It says like 40 bucks, a virgin variant. This is a Lee, I'm gonna butcher this, I always do. Inyuk cover, Lee Inyuk. Really cool cover right there. I think every single one of these boxes is supposed to have a, okay, that slid off supposed to have a exclusive comic that was I think uh, exclusive comic to Aspen it's a uh, spider woman number one I think it is I think every box is going to have one if I remember correctly I think the next one okay we have a venom cover not hundred percent sure what's going on there we got a venom or a venom inspired cover Next, oh, that one feels like a thick one. I kind of glanced at it for a second. Very cool, we have a, a Flash variant cover. It is, oh, the Flash number 750. So it is, it might be a Torpedo Comics uh, exclusive cover, I bet. Torpedo Comics is doing a lot of variant covers now for a lot of comics. It might be their exclusive, I could be wrong now. Next one. Oh, I peeked at it, I shouldn't have peeked. And we got, Nice. Is this the C2E2 variant? Got to find. I know at C2E2 last or this this year they released a Wolverine exclusive. It might have been this one or one that was like it, and that's actually on my list of ones I want to get. And this is just looks like this is not the C2E2 variant. This is the unknown comics variant of Wolverine number one, but super cool. I think the C2E2 is just like this. Oh no, no, it's not. It is, it's it's the one where the entire cover is like yellow and just Wolverine's kind of, yeah, I can't really explain it. Yeah, Wolverine number one C2E2 variant, 
cover. It's, it's actually a pretty, it's pretty expensive comic, too. Next one. We have... Okay, this is, this is the one that I was talking about. This is the exclusive. The one that was done just for that Spider-Man booth. If I remember correctly, there's only like 200 of these around. So, uh, yeah, if, if you have this one from this box, what we'll all get if you buy this box, hold on to this comic. Because I think what uh, the guy who owns that Spider-Man booth, J.P. McFly, even said that uh, this was pretty much ex like 250 were created with this exclusive cover. So, yeah, hold on to this one. This is going to be the probably the rarest Spider-Man woman uh, comic. We have, I think, two comics left. Next one. Haven't really got any big hits out yet. We got SLH exclusive. Can't think of who who that is. But uh, actually, these two are the same cover, but you see they're different variants. But yeah, cool cover. Um, here we go. Last comic in this first box. Oh, I see the back of it. This says, this is signed by Stanley, so I did get a Stanley autographed comic. Oh, nice. We have a Tales of Asgard, number one, signed by Stanley. It has the authentic Stanley Excelsior approved sticker, at seal on the front of it. Back of it, Stanley collectibles authorized. This is certificate to stand as proof of the signature on this collectible is hand signed by the one only Stanley. So nice. Stan Lee signed Tales of Asgard number one. Cool. Stan Lee, Jack Kirby cover. Nice. I'll show you again. Got Stan Lee signed down there in Sharpie. Then on the back of his certificate. So yeah, I will probably hold on to this one. Um, I've gotten probably like five or six or more than that Stan Lee signed comics from Mystery Boxes. And I've kept a few and I've sold some. And uh, I don't have anything like four comics signed by Stanley, so I'll probably keep this one. So that's a nice hit right there. Most Stan, I think Stan Lee before he passed away, his fee to sign was like what 150, 200 bucks, like his autograph fee before before he passed away. So yeah, this comic by itself is probably worth be 150, 200 bucks. So yeah, that wasn't a bad box. I ended up with a pretty nice hit on it, and I have quite a few comics here, and even like. You know, twenty bucks a comic. Let's say even ten bucks a comic. We're here to be like ninety bucks to a hundred, but like this one's gonna be worth a lot more now. But yeah, probably here's about like one fifty in comics. This one I'd say a minimum one fifty. There's three hundred plus all those prints. Yeah, I said I probably got back easily about three fifty in value in this mystery box. So I'm extremely happy with the value in this box. So uh, yeah, Superior V10 so far. My first box was a hit. So I'm happy with this. And uh, stay tuned because I've got some more to open up. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Gary Cake. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.